guys, welcome to the boring life of Aiden. It is currently about quarter to eleven, maybe even earlier than that. I've just sat here in bed. To be honest, there's nothing to do. I might make a gaming video today, a reaction video today. So basically, here's the timetable. We're we're going we're going in a couple of minutes to go up and shower. Then I'm gonna come down here. Get dressed. Then I'm going to go in and make my breakfast. Then I'm going to go out for a run slash walk for an hour. Then I'm going to come home, which will take me about to 12, really quarter past 12. Come home, do whatever coursework I have, and then, then, relax. Then maybe do something else, but we'll see what happens. Welcome to the boring life of Ian. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's still sticking around on my channel during these bad times. Um, I really do. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next clip, which should be once we're down, after we dress, and after we have short. So, yeah. Peace, guys. Right, guys. So, right now, we, um, we've got everything ready. Last time I spoke to you, I was in bed, uh, letting you know of the uh, things we were going to do today. Now, guys, obviously, you know why I'm wearing this. You know why my mum is wearing her. My mum's here with us today. Say hi, mum. Hi. Hi. So, hi. my mum's here with us today. Um, so, yeah, we're going to head out. We're going to go to the uh, nearest supermarket. We're going to get the essentials because that's what you're allowed to do. You're going to get the essentials. So here we go. You coming? Hey, right, hey, distance, social distance. We must not forget social distance, folks. Social distance, we've got our hand sanitizer in our pockets, we've got our masks on. Right, hey, 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 stand there, stand there. Stand there. Hey, right, come on. Okay, so basically we're right here right now. Um street's basically deserted. But uh we're gonna make the best of it. Never thought I'd be wearing this right in public. But I'm protecting myself and my mum from contamination. We've both got our sanitizers on, so that's alright. She didn't walk up here, she got a taxi. Okay, so, right, so nothing really much to discuss. Um, guys, like I said um, in my last video, uh, go subscribe and support Lucas Noah if you want to because he's nearly at 900 subscribers already and I want him to reach 1K before next week. So go subscribe to him, give him some love. And also subscribe to me if you want to. I'm I don't really have anything I'm doing right now. I'm just boring life, boring everything. I was gonna do a game video for you guys later, but I might not. We'll have to see. This keeps on fall. Keeps on sliding down off me, but anyway. Mum, you alright? Mum's wrapped up in a re <laughs> Hello Georgie! We yellow raincoat. If Georgie was a girl though. Georgina, Georgina, we'll call you Georgina. <laughs> Georgina, if she was dressed up in a yellow coat. Now, obviously, guys, uh, for safety reasons, I do have to uh, keep my distance from my mum and keep my distance from a lot of people for safety reasons. Uh, the only reason you're allowed to be out is to get the essentials. I'm talking really loud, I just realised that. Like, I ain't morgues, am I? <laughs> I'm talking, like, really loud. But, yeah. Okay, so we're going to head up here. I will start recording again once we're in the co-op. Um, I'll show you how bad the co-op and many other um, uh, shops have been affected because, are affected because of people panic buying. I'll tell you what, if you're panic buying, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't panic buy. All right there. Mom, come on. Okay guys, so we're going to leave now uh, until we get the co-op, so yeah. Right, I'm just going to show you why panic buying is so bad. Look at these shelves. 
all of them completely ransacked and stuff. That shelf there. And that's because of people that panic buy. Guys, don't panic buy. It's not good. You know, there's enough to go right for everyone. Like, there is. There's enough to go right for everyone. There shouldn't be no panic buying. You know, other other people have to buy too. I mean, these shelves are completely just ransacked, and those will probably be ransacked soon. Like, seriously, mate. If you're, if you're panic buying up there, stop. If you're panic buying out there, just stop. There's enough food to go around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next clip. Peace. Right, guys, so I'm going to finish the uh, video here. And I just want to say something at the end of this video right now that I feel like is a fact for all of you and everyone around the UK to, to know. If you are still not listening to social distancing guidelines and you are still going out of your house without reason wise up like seriously because if you think about it you're putting someone's life at risk every time you go out of your house or mingle with one of your friends or something like that i'm just after watching um one of the itv programs on coronavirus watching how it's impacting uk usa iran italy places like that and I just want to say, it brought a tear to my eye. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. It brought a tear to my eye. I literally started crying in the front room when I was watching that. Minutes before I started this last clip. If you are still ignoring our Prime Minister's guidance and rules. Not to protect the NHS and not to stay home if you're if that's going through your mind oh i'll go out i'll mingle with my friends i'll have a house party or if you're saying i'm not going to social distance then you're an idiot you're a simple selfish ignorant person there's now more than thirteen thousand, probably now about probably now twenty thousand people in the world that have died of this virus and there's four hundred thousand to five hundred thousand with it in the world and, like I said earlier, the issue with panic buying, if you're still panic buying after being told more than a thousand flipping times to stop it, you are sad. Because there are NHS workers out there who are busting their backsides to keep you all safe. They're busting their backsides to keep me, you all, and every single person in the UK safe. And if you are sitting in there stocking your shelves up with canned food, pasta, rice, toilet paper, and then they come in working long hours trying to buy something and they see that those shelves have been ransacked by some ignorant piece of crap, then you are the one to blame. You should be ashamed of yourselves. If you're the one panic buying or not practicing social distancing or not staying in your home, you're an ignorant piece of crap. To all those people who are in the front lines out there. Now, I'm not going to slabber about anyone. But the fact is I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people being ignorant. And people being selfish. Follow his guidelines about going out. And getting one bit of exercise a day. Going out and getting the essentials. But do not stockpile. You've already been told about it a thousand times. That they're going to keep the shelves stocked. But they can't. If people are being ignorant coming in there every single day. And buying the whole shelf can they? Now, I look like I'm angry, but I'm not angry. I'm just trying to put a point out there that many people seem not to get through their thick skulls. And that is, we all need to practice social distancing. And we need to practice it now more than ever. Because I'm not even joking with you. The death toll in the UK has now passed 578. That's a rise in 100 over one day. And not just that. But the fact is, the fact of the matter is, the UK's infection rate has now passed over 11,000. I don't know what to say anymore. If you're still stocking up, if you're still, if you're still ignoring the government's pleads to stay at home and protect the NHS, then you are a sick-minded person that couldn't care less about anyone else. And that's just the truth. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all practicing social distancing. I hope you're all safe. Stay at home. And be good.
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Peace.